Well, I've done a handful of these now already, and they seem to be pretty popular, so screw it. Let's keep going. The Nova openings were revealed last night, and while I did try to catch them, I unfortunately was stuck in work, so I didn't really catch the actual live events. But what I could see afterwards did look pretty promising, and, well... Gotta share my thoughts on them. Let's, of course, start this off with the Space Marines, and honestly, it's kind of what I expected. I mean, we got new, separate, non monopost kits of, say, the Stern Guard and Terminators, which are very nice. We got new Terminator Chaplain, which, yeah, looks, he looks good. I like the Storm Shield that you can now customize him with. I, I think that's fine. The Company Heroes, I was a little surprised to see make a comeback, but, of course, it's Primaris, so that's not a surprise, but I'm just surprised that it came back in general. We now have Primaris Jump Marines, and who honestly did not see this coming since the removal of the old Assault Squad. And yeah, it looks it looks promising. The Captain also, I will say, looks fine, I guess. I, I don't want to say he's bad, I just, I'm not really that enthralled with the pose. I don't know, it's like, it's just lacking that energy for me. Here's a surprise that I kinda didn't see coming, was scouts coming back. And for the most part, these are just regular scouts. They're, as far as I can tell, they're not like Primaris. And honestly, they look really good. The various standard weapon options, you got your snipers, you got your cloaks. It's refurbish of the models and isn't just we're we're remaking the kit, but Primaris. I'm contempt with Primaris being a thing. I just, I still hate how they were introduced and how it's like, uh, it's just, uh. Sadly, overall, well, all this new Space Marine stuff is good. It's not really like fully wowing me because I kind of saw it coming and it's just, it's, it's more Space Marine stuff. Let's move on to the Horus Heresy because it's, it, it towards heresy, you know, you gotta get some love a bit. It, you know, you got your good old dreadnought and egg boat body thing. But what actually kind of took me by surprise is that the Mark III power armor is actually re-released. The new images are fine. I think they look good. Details nice. All that's fine. All that's fine. But what the hell happened to the helmets? I am not joking. Why are these helmets different? I, I, am I the only one crazy thinking about this? Because I would be fine if, like, this is just, like, an alternative head option that you have, but the old Mark III kit, which, granted, is six years old, I thought was fine, and I really like that look of the helmets, that kind of Crusader look. Here, I don't know, it looks much more like... I want to say, like, Mark II or, like, Thunder Warrior-esque? Am I crazy thinking that? It, it, it just kind of, if I, it kind of, like, like, did the old Mark, did the Mark IV kit go through the same thing? Uh, I'm very confused. And undoubtedly, I'm also thinking, like, they're going to, like, take out some weapon options, sell them separately, so ultimately you're having to spend more money. And I hate that. Let's be fair, the Games Workshop, I think, is very well known to do that. Or you would absolutely believe that they would do that. Ooh! This guy, this boy, this big, sexy snake boy. Ooh, those details. Ooh, that face. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All looks great. But again, this is Horus Heresy. So on top of the fact that this is for a specialist game, it's also undoubtedly going to be resin. So, you know, warping. And also really fragile. And I think it's a shame. I think it also leads to a question on how is this going to work in the 40k game where this look will eventually become, you know, fully plastic. How is that actually going to work with Horus Heresy now? Like, are we going to then see more Demon Primarchs for that game in that version? And it's just, it really raises a lot of questions that I'm not super satisfied with. I also think a lot of Emperor's Children fans are kind of weeping and rolling right now with this news. <laughs> I, I don't blame them. So yeah, the world of sci-fi Warhammer is, is kind of lackluster for me at the moment. It's, it's kind of sad. But you know what's not lackluster is the fantasy side, because I fucking love fantasy. And, and oh boy, the Age of Sigmar previews are nice, because we have the boy, the Chad. Look at him. Look at that nose. Look at those horns. Look at that butt crack. It's just, it's really cool. I like this, I like this new tr Trug character. It, honestly, I really like that we're getting more named characters in Age of Sigmar now, because that, would, that was kind of always what was missing when fantasy became Age of Sigmar, is we had a lack of named characters. More specifically, more unique new characters. Like, 
yes, you do have Techless, yes, you have Archon, but I really want to see like more unique stuff for this setting. Just kind of really let your creativity grow. Of course, this is also coming in with like the new like campaign setting they have going on of the Dawnbringer Crusade. Undoubtedly also going to be in the new bundle that surprisingly, I think at the moment, currently all the other bundles from the first wave have not even sold out, which is kind of sad and telling but this one undoubtedly is going to sell out i need to place an order soon when this goes up for pre-orders i'm definitely going to i need to start building a trog army <laughs> now in addition to that we got more iron jaws zogroth anvil smasher with honestly pretty cool combination of either having like a you know a forge sword or some sort of like boar tongs that's actually kind of a nice customization option but of course we also got Josuke Anvil Squig <laughs> who I, I love the description here accompanied by Clunk the cantankerous rock brow Squig and Amble Terry Anvil whose permanent headaches can only be temporarily relieved by percussive blows to the skull that's that's fun that's really fun we got Brute Ragers which we kind of got a sneak preview from the uh, old uh well, not old, but the previous uh, Underworlds sets. That's pretty cool. I, I like seeing those kind of come back in fruition. So we kind of got like a basic kit here. We got kind of got like more of a fanatic like dual kit with them too, which I also really love. That's going to be really fun. New Ard Boys are kind of re-sculpted, which are nice, honestly. I, I didn't think the previous Ard Boys were bad. Looking back on it, I think they were just old, the old classic Black Orcs, which, you know, Games Workshop probably was just like, these are very dated they're not also really matching the aesthetic anymore yeah you know i get it so but yeah all these really look good i like that you can now kind of have them with either spears or close combat weapons the designs really do fit in with the setting more i'm also liking that these are also coming with a free battle tome supplement since we already had the original Battle Tome. So that's all. That's also really good news that we're getting. I really wish Games Workshop would do this more. So these alongside, you know, the new, like, I'm guessing that big old uh, grunt unit, all that and whatnot, all that's looking really good. I'm liking it. But similarly, for Warcry, we kind of, this one kind of took me a little off guard a, a bit, but it is Gorgers versus the previously revealed Huntsmen. The Gorgers look fantastic i love them they haven't really had like super good modern takes of models for a long while so kind of seeing this kind of give the ogres a bit more love is really nice and of course the huntsman with the new season of sigmar pack is also really really good what's also nice is this nice little terrain piece that also gives the ogres a bit more love but what i'm also surprised by is i think this is actually coming in like a fairly smaller box not like one of those big box not like the big dual boxes that we've been used to for a while which i'm a little happy with because they're there that's a lot of terrain i've only bought i've only bought like two out of the four of the current like gnarl world wood series but you know after a while like even just after two sets, it's like the those trees get annoying to build, and it's like, how many more do I need? I do kind of hope that this does start a little bit of a new trend for Games Workshop. A little bit. Just, it, it. I think it still also depends on the price. Like, this is, it's still probably going to be about maybe close to 100 bucks, which is still going to be very disappointing, but, you know, eh, it, actually not at eh, that rant on games workshop is for another day for all i'll say right now is i'm just i'm happy it's not another big box it's it does look promising and yeah yeah blood bowl um yeah you know uh you you get vampires it's another team i think it's i actually think it's quite fine i actually i'm really in love with a lot of the uh vampires for various reasons but mostly also because like i'd like the uh the armor and the helmet designs on some of them they're there is really much something on on how Warhammer Vampires work that just does kind of entice me. It's like, it's, it is fun. And it might actually also convince me to start getting into Blood Bowl finally. Ah, who am I kidding? It's Norska. I need to pick up that Norska team. This Underworlds is, you know, it's Underworlds. I, I think it's fine. It's new season, new starter box. I really do love a lot of the Slanesh models. They look good. The Ideneth outside of the Octopus now is just it's kind of meh like you just you get thralls with armor and that's kind of it i mean yeah it honestly doesn't feel too much different than say the last warband we got with ideneth it's, it's unfortunately meh and of course the last bit of info is warhammer the old world where we got a look at lady 
Elise Dutchard, which is, of course, a Bretonian model. It, it looks nice. I'm not going to lie. You know, it's, it's probably going to be fine cast. It's probably going to be very pricey, but they're really knocking it out with a lot of these designs. I love it. That being said, I do wish we got a little bit more of a look than just more single models for Old World. I would like to maybe see a proper unit, bring out some like Ushabadi units or maybe some like questing knights or some peasants would be cool. But yeah, overall, I think the, the reveals weren't bad. It's just, I, I do feel like, again, more of the fantasy side is just kind of overtaking this year more than anything. So like pretty much anything Age of Sigmar, great. Love it. The kind of the maybe bigger disappointments would be like, would probably be closer to like Fulgrim. And do not get me wrong, fantastic model, looks amazing. It's just the fact that it's heresy that is kind of what makes it a big loser for me. The On top of that, the Space Marine stuff, well, it is nice. It's kind of stuff that we have seen before. The only new thing is like the jetpack intercessors, and we kind of knew those were coming sooner or later. Everything else is, is, is fine. Actually, you know what? Uh, throwing the Mark III armor there on the downside as well. That that was kind of bad. But yeah, I mean, outside of that, it wasn't too bad overall. So yeah, those are my thoughts. If you like this content, please give it a like, share it around, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.